So the officer saw the guy ditch the assault rifle, then he got a shot off, and then he lost him in the crowd. And you think now he's here? Yeah, maybe. He was wearing a hoodie. We recovered it at the scene. Tested positive for gunshot residue, and there was blood on it. So the officer might have shot him. Well, that's the theory. We're thinking either the paramedics brought him in, or he's hiding among the injured, so we're checking all the hospitals against the officer's partial description. White male, brown hair, medium height build, dark pants. Do you mind if my guys just go through the ED? Please. Right. Look, we are barely keeping it together here. What's happening out there? People are scared. He's right there, white man, medium built, dark pants. He fits the profile, he was acting kind of sketchy. He stepped right through me. I see him. What's going on, officer? They think they may have the shooter. Chicago police, sir, I need to talk to you. I didn't do anything. Put the bag down and show me your hands. I didn't do anything. Put the bag and show me your hands. Get up! Get up! Do not move. memory is still very hazy. The one thing he is absolutely certain about is that he saw this fellow over here in the kitty chair with the blue shirt right there, and that he had, quote, a look of rage in his eyes. But we've already had one false ID, Daniel, and witness statements. He's notoriously unreliable, I know. I'm just saying, this guy, Roger, very well could have seen everything. I mean, that's why I'm spending so much time with him. You think it's possible that he can ID the shooter? Impossible. I mean, he knows he saw David. And I gotta tell you, I've been watching him now for a bit, and he is a little overly enthusiastic in terms of helping all the other victims, you know, create a disaster so that he can rise up and become the hero. You know, I don't know. We got a name. Trent Harris, 43. Well, Dr. Charles was wondering if it could be this guy behind you in the blue shirt, but he's been telling us his name is David. Well, he would definitely give a fake name. Yes, but he looks like he's in his 20s, not his 40s. Yeah, how'd you make your ID? Registered AR-15, we recovered at the scene. Will you sit tight, tuck in, just watch him? PD is pulling DMV photos. If we do get a positive ID, be ready to clear as many people out of here as you can. I'll find Maggie and spread the word. Okay. Thank you, Jay. Yeah. So SWAT raided Harris's house. Crap, floor to ceiling, major order. They found another body, guy shot his wife. Where is he? Where'd this guy go? I don't know. of O'Neg and start bagging? I need to intubate 20 of a tomate, 100 of sucks. Detective Halstead said he'll have a photo of our suspect, Trent Harris, in any second now. He's not the guy. Sats 82, heart rate 130. Interior abdomen stab wounds. Belly is distended. Fast scan. Wrist are slashed to the bone. I'm in. Fast scans positive. Where are we? Belly's full of blood. He needs surgery now. We'll take him in the doctor's lounge. Let's go. Connor, that's our guy. Don't let him off the hook by dying. When did you realize he was a shooter? When I heard about his wife. I'm reporting. You knew? 
We're struggling to keep innocent victims alive, and you pull us away to save this monster? Damn it, Dr. Charles, my son is missing!